Hi friends, in this video we see normal distribution and uh, uniform distribution. The normal distribution of a random variable is given by f of x is equal to 1 by root 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus of x minus mu by sigma squared, right, where x is a random variable. And uh, mu is a mean and uh, sigma squared is a variance, right. Okay, so this is the probability mass function of a normal distribution. And the important thing we have to know about the normal distribution is, see I told already the normal distribution is also known as Gaussian distribution. So it will follow a bell-shaped curve, right? So it will be going like this, right? So this is a normal distribution. Curve, right so this we must know okay now let us see the important points right um, the first point is area under the curve is a uh, normal curve is uni unity so it will go till uh, minus infinity it will go till plus infinity and it never touches the x-axis right so here mu is equal to zero so the area under this curve is unity that is the first thing we must know normal distribution is symmetrical with respect to mean yes from this diagram itself we will understand with respect to mean this side it is symmetry the left hand and right hand side are symmetrical with respect to mean and uh, median and mode are all mode are also at the center of the normal curve not only mean median and uh, sorry uh, uh, median and mode occurs at the center of the curve right so that is another point we must remember and the fourth point is uh, the peak of the normal distribution occurs at the mean is equal to zero so the peak occurs this means equal to zero there only the peak occurs so the peak occurs at the mean is equal to zero and uh, mu and uh, sigma mu is mean sigma is a standard deviation completely determine the normal distribution so mu and uh, sigma are normal distribution parameters so this is a very very important point right they may ask in trb exam so mu and sigma are uh, normal distribution parameters and another thing is about uh, 67 percentage of the observation will be between mu plus or minus sigma and uh, 95 percentage of the observation occurs lie between mu, uh, mu plus or minus 2 sigma and 99 percentage occurs between uh, mu plus or minus 3 sigma see uh, we know that uh, normal when we see whatever be the thing which happens in our real life follows normal distribution curve let us assume that uh, the students uh, arrival to the college right so let us assume the college opens at uh, 9 a.m right at 9 a.m majority of the students will come right at uh, from 8 to 9 some 60 or 70 percentage will come right or 80 percent will come right so here it will be at 9 am mostly everyone will come from 8 to 9 majority of the people will come right at uh, 7 o'clock very less 6 o'clock very very less 5 o'clock very less so it will be going like this right again from 9 to 9.15 mostly major will come, after 10 o'clock only few will come, 11 o'clock very less, 12 o'clock very, very less, like that it will go. So any uh, real time event you model, it will follow normal distribution, that's why it is called a normal, it's a normal happening, right, so everything is following a normal distribution. So most of the events, this is what standard deviation, right, this is mu means, it is, this 10 is deviating from the mu. So I can say it is mu plus sigma. So like that it is mu plus sigma, mu plus 2 sigma. It is mu minus sigma, this point. So here this 8 is mu minus sigma. Only it's a standard deviation, let me assume. So what is the thing it is telling? 67% uh, of the observation will lie between mu plus or minus sigma, right? That means what if the school starts at 9 o'clock means uh, mostly 67 percentage will come uh, between uh, what do you call uh, 8 to 10 
right? 95 percentage will come between some 7 to 11 and 99 percentage will come from 6 to this is for this example but other example it is okay uh, 6 to 12. So after that it is very very rare right no one will come by come to school by morning 5 o'clock no one will come after 1 o'clock right that's rare case right that's why it is uh, going slowly. So 67 percentage observation will occur between uh, plus or mu plus or minus sigma 95 occurs between mu plus or minus 2 sigma mostly 99 percentage of observation will be observed in between mu plus or minus 3 sigma right so these are the things we must know about uh, normal distribution and uh, we go to the problem and uh, first problem is uh, what do you call here uh, if x is uh, normally distributed random variable with mean 1 and variance 4. So, x is a normal distribution and random variable with the mean e of x is equal to 1 and a variance, a variance of x is equal to 2. Similarly, y is another independent uh, normally distributed random variable with the mean is 2, mean e y 2, variance of uh, y is 3. What is the distribution of x plus 2y? So, x they have given, y they have given, they ask mean and variance of x plus 2y. Simple problem. So, first we have to find the mean and variance of x plus 2y. So, mean of x plus 2y that I can write as, okay, that's three, right? So, e of x plus 2y there and variance of x plus 2y we have to find. E of x plus 2y, I can write as E of x plus y is E of x plus E of y. E of 2y, y is a constant, so I take as E of 2. So, E of x we know 1, 2 into E of y, 2, so that is 5. So, mean of E x plus 2y is 5. Next, uh, we have variance of x plus 2y. Variance of x plus 2y is equal to variance of x plus. So, variance of, uh, see, variance of kx is equal to k squared into v of x. So, 2 into power 2, 4 variance of uh, y. So, variance of x is uh, what you call. Variance of x is 2. Formula, this formula I don't forget. Variance of x is 2. Uh, 4. Variance of y is 3. So, 4 into 3, 12. Okay. Variance of x, what do you call? Okay. Variance of x is. Uh, variance of x is 4, not 2. Right? It is variance of x is 4. So, I change this. Okay. This is 4. So, this is, um, I see, this is 4, variance of x is 4, so 4, 4 plus 12, 16, so variance of x plus 2y is equal to 16, so the parameters are uh, uh, x plus 2y as mean of 5 and variance of 16. Simple problem. Next question. The PDF of a Gaussian random variable is given by f of x is equal to 1 by 3 root 2 pi e power minus x minus 4 by 16 whole squared. Find the probability of event at x is equal to 4. Right. So, this Gaussian random variable GRV is a Gaussian random variable. We know Gaussian random variable is continuous random variable, right? So, uh, since it is a continuous random variable, the point probability of any continuous random variable is zero. What is the meaning point uh, probability of P or V is equal to zero? That is, if uh, X is a random variable, here they have given Gaussian random variable. So, if a random variable is continuous in nature, the probability of finding uh, the probability at particular point is 0. So, here what they ask is, find the probability at x is equal to 4. They ask us to find probability at x is equal to 4. 
so they ask us to find probability at particular point called 4 so it is nothing but a point probability at 4 so for continuous random variable point probability is 0 this is very very important point please remember so we cannot find uh, point probability the value is 0 so that's why we hope you have seen in the book they give for continuous random variable find uh, x from uh, like this x varies from 1 to 2 or uh, x is less than or equal to 2 or x is greater than 3 like that only they will ask us to solve find probability is 0 the value of random variable probability at particular point or x is equal to 4 or 5 is 0 right so answer is 0 next question a pdf of a function is f of x is equal to e power minus x squared by 2 find k value right so compare this with uh, a general equation so for gaussian random variable you see this is i want to find k value e power minus x squared by 2 what is the general equation for gaussian random variable 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus half x minus mu by sigma whole square if you compare both uh, from this compare left hand and right hand side from this you will understand mu is equal to 0 and uh, sigma is equal to 1 compare this point here mu is equal if you put mu 0 and sigma is equal to 1 this will become e power minus x squared by 2 so mu 0 sigma 1 so you see left hand side here k here it is 1 by sigma root 2 pi sigma is 1 so k is equal to 1 by root 2 pi simple problem right i hope understand uh, all the problems next we go for uniform distribution this is also another simple thing so uniform distribution is given by uniform distribution of random variable is given by f of x x is equal to 1 by b minus a where random variable is distributed between a to b so it will be like this the curve will be in between a and b x f of x x varies from a to b where it is 1 by b minus a. fine so the curve uh, when uh, x is vary, uh, varying between a to b f of x will take a value of 1 by b minus a everywhere it is 1 by b minus a this is the uh, uniformly distributed uh, random variable right so for uniform distributed random variable mean is equal to a plus b by 2 very very important and variance equal to b minus a square divided by 12 right so don't forget these two formula okay now we go and solve the problems this is one simple simple distribution okay find the standard deviation of a uniformly distributed random variable between 0 and 1 so it is a the lower limit is a upper limit is b what they ask us to find the standard deviation we know for uh, variance of the uh, uniformly distributed random variable is b minus a squared by 12. So, standard deviation is uh, square root of variance that we know. So, if you find variance, I can find what is standard deviation. So, variance is given by sigma squared. So, b is 1, a is 0. So, it is 1 minus 0 by 12. So, it is 1 by, sorry, 1 by well, this implies standard deviation is root of variance 1 by 12, root of 1 by root 12. Okay, so simple problem. Next one, yeah, random variable is uniformly distributed over the interval 2 to 4. So, A is 2, B is 14. What is the variance? Just now only we know variance formula is uh, B minus A by square by 12. So they ask variance. So B is 14, A is 12, 2. So 12. This is 14 minus 2, 12 squared, 12 squared by 12, 12. So this is variance. If they ask mean, mean mu is equal to A plus B by 2. So 14 plus 2 by 2, 8. Right? That is extra. Okay. A random variable is uniformly distributed over 0 to 1. 
So a0, b1, find the value of e of x cube, right? So first we find mean, right? we want to find x cube, no? So what is e of x cube, e of x cube, first we know e of x cube formula, otherwise I write generally, uh, they ask e of x cube, e of x over n will be given by e minus infinity plus infinity integral x of n f of x dx. So they ask uh, e of x cube. So e of x cube is given by minus infinity plus infinity x cube f of x dx. For uh, it's a uniformly distributed random variable. For uniformly distributed random variable, I told f of x equal to 1 by b minus a, where x varies from a to b. So a is 0, b to 1, b is 1. So b is 1, 1 minus 0, 1. So f of x is equal to 1 when x varies from 0 to 1. So now it is very simple, right? So e of x cube, f of x we found, so e of x cube is equal to, e of x cube is equal to, the integral varies from minus infinity to plus infinity, because dx, integration with respect to dx, so x varies from minus infinity to plus infinity, but for my problem, x varies from 0 to 1. So 0 to 1, x cube into f of x is 1 dx, x cube dx equal to x power 4 by 4, 0 to 1. So what is f of x? So e of x cube is 1 by 4. Very simple problem. So that's all about this session. If you have any doubt, please ask me in comment section. I will clarify. Thank you.